the film series began as the Webster Film Society. It was a student club where students basically got together once a week and uh, were screening films. And then uh, it became more popular and then gradually it, it received a budget. And once it receives a budget, it becomes a department and it became the film series. The film series is programmed by uh, Mike Steinberg. He uh, used to be our director, now he's, his title mainly is a programmer. Um, and I, I also help as the program coordinator. And what generally happens is uh, we will approach distributors and see what they have available. Uh, occasionally we will get um, filmmakers contacting us and saying, hey, we have this film and it's not been, it hasn't been picked up by a distributor, but we'd like to screen it. So basically they're self-distributing. Uh, we also we hear about films through other festivals. And uh, like uh, coming up soon, we have the St. Louis International Film Festival, and there may be a film that plays on one night uh, with with Sliff that we um, that we like a lot and think it can play again for a weekend, and so we'll pick it up uh, after the festival. Uh, we have a very good relationship with the St. Louis International Film Festival. Uh, we've been a venue off and on for the past 19 years, past 18 years. This is their 19th year and we are going to be a venue again this year. Um, we work closely with the executive director and the artistic director, uh, and we're, we're a venue, and, um, and we help them sometimes with uh, contacting visiting artists. Um, a lot of times they'll, they'll want to use maybe some of we, we've used in the past for musical accompaniment. Um, so we work well together. But the films that typically do well, uh, I believe are, are films um, that maybe people have heard of, but they haven't had a chance, haven't had a chance to see. Um, just recently, uh, we screened Metropolis, uh, which is an uh, older German expression in, expressionism film that I think a lot of people have heard about, but haven't had a chance to see. And we also screened this as a silent film, and we screened it with a live orchestra, with the Allied Orchestra. That's a, a three-piece band that uh, uses a lot of sound effects. And we packed the house. We're going to have a series coming up in this next quarter uh, the films of John Cazale, and he was a supporting actor in five films. He only made five films, and then he passed away, and those five films were all nominated for Academy Awards. And it was The Godfather, Godfather Part Two, Dog Day Afternoon, uh, The Conversation, and The Deer Hunter. So five amazing films, and those films are handled by Swank and by Universal. My hopes for the film series is that we continue to grow, we continue to increase our, our audience, basically. Um, we have a lot of uh, older regulars, and we, we hope to just have a, a younger crowd and embrace younger regulars that can keep us uh, moving forward. Um, I like what we do, I like um, our, our mixture of of uh, retrospective titles and new titles. Um, it's, it's a lot of fun to bring in uh, music, musical acts to play accompaniment to silent films. I want to continue to do those things, um, but also hopefully we can, in the future, we can start to get our hands on some of the newer independent releases that right now go to the landmark theaters. And a lot of filmmakers, they want the landmark contract that will guarantee that their film can be played throughout the country, as opposed to a distributor who has to basically hustle to get their film booked around the country.